Hello, Mavic traders, and welcome out to Daily Currency Recap. This is Sankit here, and let's break down today's market price action. It's a Monday, July the 2nd. Let's talk about what's happening in the markets here by looking at broader market analysis, take a look at currency baskets, look at any major news reports, and then lastly, take a look at some possible setups ahead. Let's get into it. Disclaimer. This video was created for professional stock and option traders. Maverick Trading is a proprietary trading firm that employs professional traders around the world. Our traders trade firm capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of profits they generate. All trades and analysis in this video are for professional traders only. If you are interested in becoming a professional trader for Maverick, click the apply button in the video description. Let's break down what happened today. As we jump into market analysis, let's just jump right into the numbers here. Well, today we saw a bit of an extension of the moves in the currency market. So we got a two part of this day today where in the equities, we are seeing a rebound. So after last week's sell off, we see a bit of a rebound happening there. But now when we take a look at currency markets, there's no change. We pretty much getting an extension of what we saw last week. So nice continuity happening in the currency market. Now, if you just take a look at the numbers here, well, this is what I'm talking about. Take a look at the Aussie, take a look at the Kiwi, down the most. Now, what's the strongest? Well, take a look at it. Yen, dollar, says franc, euro, and even the uh, pound. Like They're all doing well across the board. CAD, on the other hand, is the one that's lagging here. Uh, but remember, we have Bank of Canada raise statement on Wednesday. So that's really where there's a lot of pressure because they're expecting to cut rates so the CAD is not doing much. But outside of that, this is exactly how the board looked when we look into the currency room. So no change there. Now, look at the uh, broader markets. So S&P, rally 1%. Uh, World Stock Index, we have rally 1%. Crypto is down 1%. Gold is flat and oil is down. So you can see that there's a rebound happening in the equity markets there. So that's really where we are. But we'll have to take a look at this and see if this rally is going to hold. Now in the crypto market, you can see uh, we're seeing the uh, Bitcoin being flat, but everything else sort of down here. So uh, typical crypto price action, you know, not really having a lot of continuity here. Now let's just jump into our uh, market outlook here. Well, the scoring wise, where do we stand here? So you can see that we were we did below the 20 day moving average, and then we quickly rebound above it. So we went from a negative on this uh, 20 SMA to now a plus one. So we just had to really, um, you know, keep this in mind that we had a tremendous run. We got a nice support here. The last thing you want to see if you're looking for a continuity that it actually turns lower by making a lower low, uh, a lower high and a lower low. So I think it's still too early to say that if this is the case where markets are going to continue to rally like that. I think this was a little deeper pullback. So we might we might uh, bounce a little bit here, but the big uh, test will be if those bounces are going to hold. Now, when we take a look at the schedule here, you can see that we don't have a whole lot in the first part of the week, but the second part of the week looks a little more busier. We got some uh, economic data out of the Eurozone, out of the US, and then most importantly, we're getting this um, Bank Canada raise statement on, um, on Wednesday as well. So Wednesday is really a busy day, you can see. By the time we go into Thursday and Friday, well, maybe Friday, we like this uh, PC price index number. So, you know, we, we have a lot to deal with in the second half of the week based on what the economic reports comes out. But for now, we just want to focus on relative strength and weakness. So let's just jump into our currency analysis and, and see where the velocity scores are. And here we are with the velocity scores. You can see that there's a whole lot in the plus two and there's a whole there's only a couple in the minus two. Remember, we want to pair the best versus the worst. So, you know, pairing uh, euro against the Swiss franc or pound against the dollar, like we're not really getting a big movement here. But the only movement that we are having here is anything comparing with Aussie and Kiwi. That's where the continuity is happening. So we'll continue looking at those, those trades there. So let's just jump into possible trades. Do you want to be a professional trader? Maverick Currencies is the oldest U.S.-based Forex and crypto prop trading company that will pay you for trading with our capital. Trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of the profits. We are looking for traders just like you that are hardworking and motivated. Click the apply link on the top right of this video to see if you have what it takes. That link takes you to a four minute video that explains the trader position available and you read a list of FAQs that answer pretty much all the basic questions you have at this point. After watching the video and reading the FAQs, 
If you're interested, fill out an application, then you'll watch the full length recruiting video and then schedule an interview with one of our traders. Are you our next trader? All right, so here we are in the possible trades, and you can see that this is the one, the Aussie dollar was my favorite one that I talked about in the currency room, and this thing has fallen very nicely. So again, this is where I love where, you know, you get the move and you just start to get that continuity. It broke lower, it broke lower, and here we are. I know it looks extended on the RSI. Maybe it bounced a little bit here, but the bounce is very uh, anemic here. It's just a very small bounce. So probably look for some basing patterns, similar to what we saw before. But nice movement there. So this one was on my list and so was the Kiwi dollar. And they both uh, broke nicely and they just keep falling. So the question really is that if you are not in that move or you're just waiting for the next move, then you just need for some basing patterns to, to, to happen. And if you just take a look at it, Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar, they look extended. I don't, you know, I don't love to enter here. If you're looking for a new entry, I would rather look for some basis or some bear rallies. But where, how we are closing out the candles today, let's take a look at currency baskets. They are either cl closing at where the highs of the day or the lows of the day. Pound is rebounding. The euro is rebounding or euro is actually breaking out. Swiss franc is basing here pretty much. So don't want to touch that. It's still pretty strong. Dollar is rebounding. And even the yen trade. Remember I talked about how you got to keep a close eye on the, on the yen. And I must say that this is surprising me that even with that big rally here, it's continuing that extension. So unlike before, where it rallied and pretty quickly rolled over, rallied pretty quickly rolled over, this thing is still rallying. So I don't love the end short here. I think this is showing relative strength. And until we start to see that strength uh, start to sell off, we don't want to be touching that. So again, if you take a look at the setups here, aside from the uh, dollar crosses, even Aussie yen, you know, that's a beautiful turnaround that's taking place as well. So looking for bear rallies or bases to really short into. And I think at this point, I don't want to jump into any of the currencies again, only to stick with what's moving. So taking a look at your Aussies, which was the one I talked about in the currency room, this thing also breaking up very nicely and also Euro Kiwi. So the, my outlook really hasn't changed based on today's close. Everything is sort of in that continuation pattern. So this is the time where you just look at relative sort of weakness. And if you see things are extended, you want to give some time to give you a setup to really enter. Second half of the week is where we're going to get more news events, and that will be a great opportunity to really look for some, uh, some trades as well. Thanks for joining here. Happy trading, and we'll see you in the next one.